Hi everyone, Chris here from the Javelin Tech team, looking to expand your horizons with some of the new functionality available in SolidWorks 2015. In prior videos, we discussed the model break view functionality for parts. As we zoom in and take a look at this reference dimension, we're going to take a closer look at the model break view functionality for assemblies. Moving down the insert menu, we'll navigate down until we encounter the model break view functionality. The model break view is going to work identically to the way it did within the part modeling environment, meaning that we'll have the chance to choose some reference planes for the orientation of our model break view and move the break planes to an appropriate distance. Once in position, we'll choose the styles tab and make some decisions as to the appearance of our model break view what style we would like to convey the model break view in, and whether or not all the components or each individual component takes on the style that we've chosen from the break view. After setting the gap distance and the shape intensity, we can go ahead and confirm our selections for the model break view. Once this assembly based model break view has been created, we can review, enable, and disable that model break view from within the Configuration Manager. I hope this tip has been helpful for you as we take you through the new model break view functionality in SolidWorks 2015, and I look forward to seeing you here next time on the Javelin blog.